Okay, welcome to our December 7th meeting. Uh, happy holidays. Not ready too bad because it's coming. <laughs> Get ready. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, looking at the agenda, pretty short today, so hopefully we'll get out of, get out of here pretty quick. Uh, the minutes from October 5th. We were sent a copy. Motion to approve as presented. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve as presented. Any discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 No. Motion carries. Um, and Derek, we you are doing the roll call and we Correct. do have all members present, right? Yes, we do. Okay. I apologize for not doing that first. Okay. Uh, moving down to old business. Do we have any old business from uh, previous meetings? I think we just had one experience credit pending, and I think that person is in the uh, agenda today. So I, I don't know of any other ex uh, experience credit pending. Um, no, I, I received Kenny's here uh, on Tuesday morning when I got back. I was off Monday, so I went ahead and got him on there. So we okay. <laughs> All right. Hearing no other old business, new business, the mission statement, which is attached, I believe. You'll take a few minutes to look over that. Uh, remind me, Derek, what we have to do in January's meeting. Uh, election it, officers, mission yeah, staff. Approving, yeah, approving this and, uh, you know, basically uh, approving your accepting of the stipend. And don't we do the election of officers? Yes. Okay. So we have three things to do it, uh, at January's meeting, and this is right. one of them. So yep. if we wanted to work on any changes between now and then, uh, it's a good opportunity to do that. Yeah, and I just want to make you all aware, you know, since we get going into that in January, you already have the copy of it in front of you and uh, you all take a look at it and, you know, have time to decide if you all want to update anything. Okay. Uh, do y'all see any changes that we would want to make? Solutions, additions. I can't think of any. So, uh, if something comes up between now and January's meeting, please email the group and uh, we'll start looking at it. Uh, moving down to experience credit. I think the first person is the one that was pending, I believe. Correct. Was asked for more documentation regarding his on-the-job training hours. And that, this is we got our notary signed uh, letter here from the employer, uh, giving more of an idea on the job duties uh, and his hours up here, twenty-four seventy seventy-nine. Weird. And the request is for one year. Correct. Okay. I'll make a motion that we approve the one-year credit. Second. Okay. We have a motion and a Third. second to approve uh, <laughs> <Fourth. laughs> one-year request. Um, 
think we discussed this a couple months ago. On this yeah, one. we went over it pretty thorough. Yeah, it was a form that I didn't really like or this information, but that's kind of the way we get it from Texas. So anyway, any other discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Moving on down to the second request. Uh, looks like he has requested three. The committee has, uh, their recommendation is two years credit. And Ardenage reading over this. Um, this is a person that has worked in the propane industry, I think, within Arkansas. Yes. For several years. So, Mr. Kenny is not a uh, a young person. No. He's worked over forty years in the industry. So please review the uh, documentation and we will discuss. How rare, how rare is it that the person asks for more time than what the committee, because the paperwork is filled out that he's asking for three, but then if you look on the little signature thing there, I thought yeah. somewhere the committee only said two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They circled it, yes. Uh, that happens quite frequently. Well, I noticed, I think in, I don't know, maybe six months ago, there's one that the person was wanting uh, two years. I think the committee said one. Um, there was one, I think, wanted one year and they got point five. Um, it happens. Uh, but usually, usually the apprentice and the program are on the same page and usually they fill out the document documentation. I won't say at the same time, but with the same information. So I'm just, the programs will review and say, yeah, it looks like you may have two. And then the apprentice will go ahead and say, well, okay, I'll just ask for two, two years. So most of the time it's matching, I'll say. Yeah, I just thought it was odd. I mean, it's like you pointed out at the beginning. I mean, good Lord, he's been doing this stuff <laughs> a long time. Yeah, he's, he's been, been running there. gas lines a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, looks like he's been doing it um if i'm looking at this right on page 10 of 12 he's been running uh house piping for a long time as well against arkansas plumbing law if you look under installation running gas lines inside of buildings to different appliances and ensuring to code I'm taking that as running, yeah. That fall under that propane, propane line. license, I imagine. Okay. All this experience credit is for the propane industry companies is what I'm taking. Yeah, none he's from, in the propane business. Yeah, no, none from natural gas. I stand corrected. I'm a master plumber. <laughs> uh, 
So let's talk about let's talk about related plumbing work within the state. And when I say related, you have the propane, you have the I'll say septic tank industry. Uh, what other what other I guess tasks or jobs do we have within the state that you don't require to have a plumbing license, but it is somewhat tied to the plumbing industry. And what have we gave as far as experience credit in the past to those certain jobs or tasks? If that made sense. RPZ certification does not require a plumbing license, but RPZ rebuilding does. Correct. Stephen, can you speak on it, septic tanks? Have we? It, yeah. People. See, that's, um, that's, a, that's a totally different license, you know, and uh, with the septic installer's license, it permits us to tie to the house to the tank which really is under the plumbing part of it so you know that you know that falls into play there okay um now a plumbing master plumbing's license you do not have to have a master journeyman or apprentice to have a septic installers In, anybody that can pass the test can get a septic installers um you know, that's the only thing. And now, even at that, going back on this, as far as on the propane, uh, having a master journeyman or apprentice does not allow you to do propane. Um, that, you know, propane, that's, that's under a totally different deal. Most propane companies will allow a, mass, um, a licensed plumber do it but it has to be done and they certify it more or less to say they accept it. But, you know, just because you have a plumbing license does not allow you to run propane. You generally have uh, to get, excuse me. Go, go ahead, Ron. Go ahead. You generally have to get the propane company to certify it or they'll put, put uh, gas in the tank or whatever, or connect gas Correct. to the building. Correct, correct. And, uh, you know, one, one of the things is, too, a little bit, I mean, you know, in two years plumbing time and school and things, you know, you learn a lot more than just gas piping. You know, two, two years of training for gas piping, that's, I mean, that's, that's a lot, you know, as far as that goes, but now you fall into play with the, uh, what about all the water and the drainage and, and then of course, natural gas code is totally different. Propane code. It, they don't even, they're not even the same. I mean, I, my, Two years even seems like a lot of time for just propane experience. I'd say as long as he'd been doing propane, some of the others splashed over on him. <laughs> Gerald, I, I, I was thinking that. I just couldn't find a way to say it, but that was pretty accurate. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> I, I kind of agree. Just with his age and his his years of experience, he I think that's going to be more beneficial, as beneficial as two years of school. Um, as a, as a book learning, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Uh, I'm of the opinion that I'm not saying this is a motion. I, I'm of the opinion. I think two years would be satisfactory. <clears throat> is there any other 
occupations out there that touch the plumbing plumbing side that we have considered for uh, credit in the past. I think this has came up before. I can't remember. Uh, I believe we gave some credit to the person, but I don't know in reference to uh, time time in the field and all that. Uh, I know there has been, I think, septic um, tank experience wanting to use it as credit. I'm not sure that person got any credit. Um, but this is just a case of, you know, yes, it kind of touches the plumbing field. Uh, you do get experience in, in some of the plumbing. Uh, some of the same materials are used in both industries. Uh, some of the same, I'll say, like procedures are done. They're not the same, but uh, uh, as far as testing and installation practices and all that stuff are pretty close to the same. So um, as far as a propane, um, it does touch the natural gas side of the plumbing code, I assume. I, I don't know the, the, uh, the requirements for all that, but I assume they are similar. So um, I, I agree this person needs something um, as far as credit for the experience. So uh, any other discussions? Karen, do you have a, a thought? Uh, I I mean I have absolutely zero problem. I'm I'm like the comment that was made. I have no problem whatsoever giving him the two years worth of credit. I mean, you think about it. If this guy walks into to a company and tries to get hired on, I mean, the company is definitely you know he's going to be a great asset. And just the fact that he's got that many years and he knows how to work. That may be worth almost as much as as his actual, you know, work experience. But, you know, I have, I have, and if y'all want me to put it in a form of motion, uh, I don't have a problem with that at all. If everybody's in agreement with the two years, I'll second it. I make a motion that we accept the two years requested experience. And Mr. Ron has seconded. All right, any other discussions? Hey, uh, hello, Kelly? Yes. I just sent everything, everyone, uh, the water system operations specialist yes. that we have uh, yes. approved over at yes. Rural Water. Uh -huh. And I don't know if that's something that down the road we may have someone after they finish this apprenticeship program want to jump in and get an experience credit, but you were asking about other, other yes. in, uh, industry or uh, occupations and so this is an approved occupation that we have uh, working with Arkansas Rural Water. Yes, now I appreciate the reminder. That's the one that was missing. We had water operators uh, from cities, you know, grade three, four, whatever, ask for credit for the plumbing. Uh, that has been done. Uh, that hasn't been welcomed, I'll say, with open arms as far as this committee and given credit for. Uh, but maybe in the future we can uh, loosen that up and give them something. Uh, same way with uh, what is it, the treatment license that most that city em employees have to have. Um, there've also been some people request credit for it too. So those were the two that I was trying to remember and could not. So Don, I appreciate the. Uh, uh, the little hint there, and you got my ma uh, mind kind of working. <laughs> so, no problem. yep. So we have to need need to remember those in the future, also. And the fact still remains they they have to pass the plumbing test. So I mean that's a feat in itself. Um, so yes, and yep. as far as this committee, our goal should be to you know give them the credit they're deserving and um, give them enough time in school to get them over that uh, hump to pass the test. Uh, you know, we want everybody to to do good and, and pass and move on. So uh, we don't want to give somebody a lot of credit knowing that that's not enough time for them to 
uh, get ready for the test. So in this case, two years, I think I think it'd be good. So do we have any other discussion on the motion on the floor? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. I think that's all the experience credit we have. Uh, moving down to reports, uh, Mr. Rick is not on. Is that correct, Derek? That's correct. Okay. Cynthia will not be on. Um, Derek, I guess that moves, goes down to you now, OSD report. All right. Well, um, everyone, uh, it's <clears throat> basically just business as usual um you know uh, of course uh you know today we'll be looking at a uh, we got two months worth of ct grants to look at in our aacsc committee because we weren't able to have our meeting in november so that'll take up a majority of our time later on this afternoon um other than that uh like i said just kind of business as usual I know as far as our MOU for our database goes, um, we, we've all crossed our T's and dotted our I's here. Uh, Maurice thought it would just be a good, good, uh, good faith uh, uh, effort to go ahead and send it over to DIS, let them to review it again, because they, they helped us on the initial review and writing it of it. Uh, so he got that sent over to him, I think, two days ago. So I'm assuming we'll hear something back from it here in the next day or so. Uh, other than that, uh, you know, once we get that done, then we'll then I'll uh, start rolling it out to, you know, five programs at the beginning. Uh, I've been getting a lot of stuff set up. So you all know for for our issues, i um, been doing a bunch of uh say templates so to speak uh for all the programs uh the last couple of days uh so uh when they, we got one little thing they've been working on right now once it's done then i'm going to start basically going through uh probably the the ones that we do uh as far as my five at a time and then when i get the time i'll do the other ones as we go along too uh but basically taking those total amount of hours that were on the semester report for the spring and getting the hours updated uh, to where they reflect what the hours were in the spring, uh, you know, as far as getting them up to date. Um, so because our hours are all over the place. Uh, so uh, so I'm going to work on that and do that, you know, five you know, the programs at a time as we go through there, trying to help you all out as much as I can on getting the hours up to snuff. Of course, I will be asking for help on the active status, uh, canceled, that type of status. I did try to mess with that one time uh, and uh, found out after about a week of me messing with one uh, couple of programs, I ran into an issue. Uh, so um, I had a program that sent me a release to test in and then found out after I talked to them, uh, I had canceled them when I shouldn't have. Uh, but that was going off of rapids and so forth. So it looked like something didn't get moved over at some point in time. So, you know, hey, stuff happened. So at that point, I was like, I'm not going to do this anymore. Uh, I'm going to let these programs get it in their hands. And then they, they're they the ones who for sure know uh, the the status on their apprentices. So, uh, of course, got to upload to make that very, very easy uh, to address. So, um, but uh, so, yeah, that's. We're, we're getting there, guys. It's been a long process. I know I've told y'all many times, I thought we were there and then we run into a stumbling block or, uh, you know, been dealing with, uh, you know, changes in leadership up mm -hmm. here. So had to go through all those things with the new, uh, with Stephanie and make sure, you know, she's good on what we're doing. Just make sure everybody knows what's going on. Uh, so um, other than that, um, guys, we just just been kind of moving right on along. So uh, if y'all have any questions, I'm here. If not, uh, I'll get back to you, Kelly. Okay. Oh, hey, one more thing. I forgot. I had it sitting right here in front of me. What in the world? Where did this thing go? Oh, there it is. Uh, this was our uh, update on our numbers. Okay. <laughs> so. 
So we got 61 uh, released for plumbers so far since July and had 12 in November. Kind of, you know, that's after doing that, starting that last year, uh, you know, it's kind of kind of typical numbers here uh, that I've seen month to month uh, for the plumbers. Okay. The Department of Health does not examine in December, correct? Uh, honestly, I have no idea. They didn't use that. No, they did December 1st. Yeah, I think that, that kind of covered the end of November. Uh, okay. Any questions over the numbers? All right. Um, I believe that covers everything on the agenda. Do we have any other business, old, new, war stories, anything? The only horror story I've got is renewal of these licenses. I got mine in the mail Monday, I believe. So, um, and Rick did send a, a letter uh, in the license uh, to all master plumbers. Uh, reminding them it's time to renew license and make sure all your employees uh, have a current license by the end of January, basically. So um, it states meal fees, working unlicensed individuals is a violation of the plumbing law. Master plumbers can be fined $100 or more per day per expired license holders. So there was a letter that went out with all renewals, but if the renewals don't get in the right hands, it does not do any good. Our biggest problem is, you know, the new system is supposed to be sending the renewals to either the contractor or the apprentice. Well, we got about 35, 40 of them mailed to us. So we turn around and renew them and come to find out the renewals also went to the contractor. So there's double renewals going out and then <laughs> license are supposed to be mailed to the apprentices. And we went to the post office box yesterday and had a little nasty note from <laughs> the postmaster that all of our mail wouldn't fit in our <laughs> post office box because guess what? They're sending a bunch of the plumbing license to us, which is great. I wish they would send them all to us. It's the yeah. inconsistency that is killing us. And, you know, so I know they've got, you know, they're trying to work through some issues and their website been down more than it's been up the last two weeks, which is not helped with the new renewal system either. So I'm sure that's why Rick is not here today because <laughs> they're, they're, yeah, they're dealing with all that too. So. Okay. Well, I didn't know that was happening. I thought per Rick in the last conversation we had had with him a month ago that you know, they were doing the same thing and notices would be sent out to the apprentices. Well, we played devil's advocate because the ones that we're getting back, the renewals that after the, the, the fee is paid, we went back and pulled up their documents to figure out, okay, what is it we did different on those apprentices than we did the ones that's being mailed to them because we were just going to do it to all of them so that we'd end up with all the license. Uh, but we, there is no difference. I mean, so we don't know. Yeah. I think I received, I don't know, seven or eight the other day renewals. And I was wondering why, why I got them, but anyway. Okay. Any other uh, comments on renewals, license? The old uh, way the school, the old ways the school would go for, for certain whether or not the apprentice had a license or not. This Amen. You got to, you got to trust him, the apprentice. Yep. Correct. Yeah, correct, and uh, it's. It's easy to find probably after the fact, after maybe February, but going in there in their website and putting in your apprentices that's in your program, pulling up their license, 
um, it would show, uh, you know, December of the current year or 23, I'll say. And uh, it didn't really give you a, an active status, I'll say. And you go in there in February, and if they're hadn't renewed, uh, you can't find them. Uh, it doesn't, unless they have another license of some sort. So it doesn't keep, keep a, a status. Uh, you either have a license or you don't have a license. So a current license, I'm sorry. So there's a little bit more information on the website of, you know, their status and uh, their last license date is this, hadn't renewed this year. It would be, you know, helpful to the programs if, to maintain, you know, keeping those licenses current. So, but anyway. Um, do we have any other business? Our next meeting is January 4th, which seems like it's about two weeks away. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like we're having a late <laughs> meeting in December. So, uh, just FYI for the group and James, um, I did make some peanut brittle this year. So, uh, I may play Santa Claus and deliver uh, some if I'm able. Sorry, to you didn't hear me cheer. <laughs> <laughs> that was muted. We might, I'm trying to get out of town between. Um, now in Christmas, I got to burn some vacation days or lose it. So uh, I may head south uh, one of these days. So we may have to try to hook up or something. That's awesome. That's awesome. And that kind of That's brings good. up uh, another question. Uh, our next meeting is online um, for Jean or for 2024. Do we want to? Well, we need to think about, do we want to keep the meetings on Zoom? Do we want to do kind of a hybrid meetings on Zoom for in for two months and we meet in person one month, meet in person um, every quarter? Or do we want to go back to meeting in person? Uh, I know the electrical board, I think per Derek, they're meeting at least in person once a quarter, I believe. Is that right, Derek? Yeah, we're going to have our first in-person meeting here. It's been a little while. Uh, we did have one uh, one last year uh, in January. Uh, and then our discussion, I think everybody was kind of under the, the same impression that they would be happy to maybe at least do it once a quarter. Uh, but we're going to discuss that in January when they come in and, and see what everybody wants to do. Of course, I we say all we have... I say we have our December meetings in person. <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, our I make a second that motion in uh, person and the rest of them. Because guys, honestly, what what are we going to be able to accomplish in person that we're not doing right here? And Kelly, you're in Fayetteville. Stephen, are you still housed in God knows where? It looks like you're in a work trailer. Yeah, I'm in uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana. There you wow. go. Oh, Lord. And that's what I'm saying with, with you know, that's just my opinion, oh, but oh, it'd be different if there was documents that we needed to process. It would be different if we were having big knockdown drag outs over policies and procedures and you needed to look somebody in the eyeball, which you turn on your camera, you can do that anyway. Uh, but that's mm -hmm. just my, you know, once a year meeting in person and I vote for Decembers to be in person every year. <laughs> look at Kelly laughing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I should never brought it up. <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, okay, well, Let's think about that. Back to the peanut brittle. Yeah. <laughs> Back to the peanut brittle. Kelly, yeah. I'm glad you're feeling good enough to make peanut brittle. That, that's yep. a good Amen to that. Yep. Amen. Absolutely. So, you're looking good, by the way. Uh, yeah, I kind of cleaned up, got a haircut and <laughs> made and, you know. Um, so, anyway, uh, I'm feeling pretty good. So, knock on wood. Uh, I'm having good. good days and, and and bad days, but I'm having more good days than bad. So that's that's a 
a plus. I go back to uh, UAMS in February uh, for my six month checkup. So I'm still doing a, a maintenance program up here. Uh, I go in every, every Friday and get a chemo shot and I'm on chemo pills two weeks on and two weeks off cycle. So still doing that. So anyway, life is good. Yes, sir. Yep. Appreciate you asking. Um, anyway, let's think about that. Uh, Derek, let's put that on the agenda for January, if you would, please. Okay. And uh, <laughs> we'll kind of discuss that with the other three things that we have to do every, every January. Uh, scheduling review, I'll say. Meeting scheduling review. All right. Any other any other questions, comments? If not, I'll uh, entertain a motion to adjourn. Make a motion. Second. Right. Well, if I don't see you, hopefully I will.